Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 to 14. Brother Kenny, was it men already? Philippians 3, verses 1 to 14. And that is going to take our focus chapter for this morning. Shall we pray? Father and our friend, we thank you for another opportunity to look into your word and hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Lay your right hand on your head, repeat, dear God. Come on, dear God, help me to understand what you will say to me today. Lay your right hand on your heart, repeat, dear God, help me to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout glory! Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah! Clap your hands and give Jesus some praise. Yeah. I'd like to share with you this morning on the subject, good soldiers never give up. That's right. Good soldiers never give up. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, good soldiers don't give up. Oh, Amen. When the Spanish set out in 1588, with a fleet of ships determined to conquer England, the English were waiting. On the cliffs of England and Wales, men watched the seas day and night, waiting for the first sighting of the Great Armada. When at least the great ships appeared on the horizon, beacons were lit on the hillsides, which sent the message over the hill cliffs and throughout Britain that the Spanish were coming. The beacon sent the message quicker than any horseman could ride. And by morning, London and the Queen knew that the day of reckoning had come. As soon as the ships began to make their way up the channel, the fighting began. Elizabeth upon a white horse, inspected her soldiers and made what was possibly her most famous speech of all. The Queen's confidence in God and her people were rewarded in the English Channel, the Spanish were suffering a humiliating defeat. The weather was singing on the worship team tomorrow. They are telling them nothing is wrong with having more than one girlfriend or boyfriend at a time. They are telling them that nothing is wrong watching porn on TV or looking at it on the internet. They are telling all young boys that marrying another man is fine. As I look at the news quite often, church, I notice a trend. Many US states are legalizing same-sex marriages and they say that it's okay. I don't care if it's on the president of Babylon or Queen Elizabeth II. The Bible says in Leviticus 18 and verse 22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind like with womankind. It is an abomination. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh my. My God, preach it. That is why as young people, that is why as Christians, we must ensure that we are always properly grounded on God's word and never give up on our hope. Never give up on the hope that lies ahead once we keep our faith in Christ. Good soldiers never give up on what they have set out to do. Good soldiers have set out to win. And if it's winning you want, it's a winning you'll get. If you change plans, you'll lose. If you step out from all of God's covering, you'll be a victim. Don't give up on God. Dietrich Haddon said in his song, God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every single promise to you. He says, don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. And he was full of the spirit when he said, he's able. Oh, yes. He's able. Church. Have you ever sat and admired the poker 
the tree or the palm tree. Whether it is going on the flat or on the slope, it still goes uniformly upright. Palm trees or coconut trees don't seem to enjoy going in slanted or bent positions. They are more likely to break under severe pressure than to adopt a foreign slant or curve. The very same should be said of Christian young people. The very same should be said of Christians on a whole. We won't give up. We won't bend. We are going to hold the fort and go uniform. Your bright good soldiers don't give up. There is a great need today for Christians who are upright. Christians will refuse to bend on the pressure. Even when the storms of life compel you to shake and to tremble. Young people, I know about peer pressure too. I'm young too. I know about the pressure to become popular. I know about the pressure to fit in in a group. But God wants us to stand firm. Wake up, tell your neighbor, stand firm. Strong and upright. So you know what that means. You have to make up in your mind to say, I am not going to follow anyone. I'm going to be a trendsetter for Christ. Tell anybody I'm going to be a trendsetter. Oh my. He's a trendsetter. You have to be my friend. You do not have to follow anybody. Set the trend that caused them to follow you. Oh my. You're not with me this morning, but that's so okay. Good soldiers never give up. Secondly, I want us to know today that as a good soldier, you need to put off the extra weight. Put off the extra weight. In verse 7 of Philippians chapter 3 it says, But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Everything that doesn't directly glorify God, along with every obstacle that is hindering you from growing your relationship with Christ, you have to lay them aside. Good soldiers don't walk with excess baggage. It keeps them back from moving forward. The only thing, my friends, they carry are things of necessity. Amen. Things of importance. So to young people, we must examine our lives to see what excess baggage we are carrying. Paul decided that he was not going to shipwreck of his holy duties and cast them off. What he decided though was that he was not going to let any of the ministry success he had, he was not going to let all of that dependence, my friend, get to his head. Tell your neighbor, don't let it get to your head. Another good thing that the Apostle Paul did was to decide to cast away all happy expectation of happiness from the things which he had before, from the things of the world. I believe that the Apostle Paul knew that sex outside of marriage would only give temporary pleasure. I believe that he knew that the most expected clothes and jewelry would only give an impression that all is well on the outside. I believe he knew that fast money with drugs and sex would top up and new things would never bring satisfaction. That is why he decided that he was not going to carry any excess baggage. He called them dumb. Any filth or as filthy carrier, as garbage cast to the dogs, as the word signifies. Such things as these, the false teachers who we call dogs. He decided that nothing, tell your neighbor nothing, nothing, nothing was going to get between me and my God. I wonder if we have some young people or some Christian people here today who will say that nothing is going to get between me and my God. Amen. Amen. Some of us, my friend, we have our seven and eight and nine subjects now with a few distinctions and we feel better than our Sunday school teacher. No, 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 he doesn't have to hear any of it. That's all he's saying. It's all on his saying. Some of us feel now that we can sing or play the keyboard or the drums or the guitar. So we are contemplating joining the UTC band. No, 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 no. No, no, he doesn't have to hear any of it. It's all he's saying. Some of us got our job now. And we're making our own money now. So instantly, mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa can't tell us anything. No, no, no. It doesn't happen here. It doesn't happen here. It's only a 
thing. Some of us have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Now mind you, we just told them we love them two weeks or three months ago and we built our entire world around them and blocked up everybody else because we feel we know what love is. No, it doesn't have me any of it. Not here, not only you say. Many times, those are just hindrances in our battle to stay connected to Jesus Christ. I'm not asking you. I've been there. Many times those things and those people are just excess baggage and unless they are approved by God, they will bring us down. So let me tell you how to deal with people who are holding you back. I like teaching, you see. I've been teaching young people and all the ones CXC and basic computer skills ever since I left high school at 15. So I like to teach. Good students always are ready to listen. We have different personalities and we do things differently, but when it comes to moving on and I will from, from a friend or an acquaintance, you have to develop a type of courage. Tell your neighbor, develop the courage. If you're with the wrong people, you're going to turn the wrong way. That's right. If you're handing the keeper backers, that's my own word. That's my words. You won't get anywhere. That's true. If you want to be a friend of somebody, my friend, I encourage you to find a friend who is going to push you and motivate you to go on the world. That's right. Amen. So let me tell you how to deal with people who are excess baggage in your life. You have to develop a, set, a new set of boldness and courage. You have to put your, 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 your push your chest forward and probably lift your head high and tell them, excuse me please. I would like to get just a few seconds of your time with all due respect and with much love in my heart. I want you to know that I'm moving on. So I'm leaving you here and I'm moving on. Amen. Good soldiers don't carry excess baggage. No way. Thirdly and finally, I want you to know, young people, I want you to know, Christians on the whole, that we are to press on, keep going, never give up. Verse 14 of Philippians 3, it says, I press toward the man for the price of the high court God in Christ Jesus. I like how the Apostle Paul puts it in this our final verse on the review. To paraphrase it a bit, he's saying, come what may, I will not give up. I'm going to push. I'm going to press onward, forward, as he who runs a race until I reach the mark. That prize which is my ultimate goal. Although we have our eyes and many other dreams and goals, church. Every Christian and every Christian young person should have their eyes on the ultimate prize that is meeting Jesus in heaven. Press on, young people. Press on. Good soldiers never, ever give up. Lada Adams wasn't lying when she sang. Keep the dream alive, don't let it die. If something deep inside keeps inspiring, Try, don't stop. And never give up. Don't ever give up. Every victory comes in time. Work today to change tomorrow. It gets easier Who to say that you can't fly. Every step you take, you get closer to your destination. You can feel it now, church. Don't you know that you're almost there? Good soldiers never give up. Mind you, I never said that good soldiers are perfect. I have my flaws. And the Christian race is a battle to the end. If you are Christian and the enemy never troubles you with problems and challenges and people to upset you and offend you, you better check your salvation. Because the enemy don't care about people in the world and he doesn't got them. So if you're in your problems, I 
God would allow me to work for him around the world and make a big impact on young people especially. Today, at 25 years of age, a youth ministry I founded in 2008 in our little island federation of St. Kitts and Nevis is now impacting the world. We have opened the Dare to be Different International in Kenya and started a school and orphanage there. Just last week, the president of our Kenya mission wrote in to, uh, to establish our second church in Uganda called the Victory Center. Our daily hope devotional on hopeisahead.com is translated in over 50 different languages and we are reaching the world. While preparing this sermon, I went to check to see the last set of daily readers. We have confirmed daily readers from the United States, Russia, Canada, France, St. Kitts, Nevis, Netherlands, the Czech Republic, Germany, Dominica, Hungary, South Africa, Puerto Rico, the United Kingdom, Germany, China, Zimbabwe, the US Virgin Islands, Antigua, Latvia, Grenada, Singapore, Australia, Egypt, India, South Korea, Dominica, Malaysia, Chile, Philippines, Taiwan, Denmark, Spain, Brazil, Cuba, Kenya, Jamaica, Sweden, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Bolivia, Naimbra, Turkey, South Africa. As I stand here, I have pending invitations to conduct crusades and youth empowerment events in Kenya, Pakistan, India, the US Virgin Islands, and Anguilla. I use my Blackberry for Jesus. I use my Facebook for Jesus. I use my MSN and Google Chats for Jesus. I'm connected to dozens of people in this little island of Nevis and all across the world who I have never met in my life. Encourage them and they also encourage me too. I have one goal in my mind. is to show the world that despite what you are going through, hope is still ahead. Yes. It is called my feather. Staying faithful for Jesus. Good soldiers never give up. Hallelujah. Why am I saying all of this, young people? Simply because I want you to know dreams do come true. Big things still happen to small people. Yes. Even when you are not down, dust off and get back up. That's right, amen. Even when you are discouraged, yes. find some strength within you to encourage yourself. Hallelujah. Even when they are bad mouthing you, yes. still greet them with a smile. That's it. Even when you Somebody's hating on you because you have all nice shoes. Somebody doesn't like the airing or the chain. So what if people don't like you? Good soldiers never give up. I don't know why I haven't been called in my life. But when they call me down and when they call you down, let that be a source of encouragement to propel you onward. You are not perfect and I'm not perfect.